Hi everyone, I'm Poonam. Welcome to my kitchen. Making yogurt is a simple two-step process. Heat the milk, add culture, and put it at a warm, undisturbed place. And the yogurt is ready. But why do it at home when we have so much variety available out there in the stores? When I make yogurt at home, I get to choose what milk I put into it. Whether I'm using whole milk, 2%, 1% or fat-free whether I'm using organic or regular. Here I have three cups of whole milk in a pan. I wet the pan before pouring in the milk. This prevents burning of the milk at the bottom. I'll switch the heat to medium and heat the milk. I usually do this in the microwave. It takes almost four and a half minutes for three cups of milk to get to a temperature around 190, 195 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the temperature at which the proteins in the milk alter their nature so that they can coagulate in the presence of the good bacteria that we introduce by putting in the starter culture. The milk seems to be ready now. I can see steam coming out of it and I can see these small bubbles at the edge of the pan. So this is an indication that the milk has reached a temperature of around 80 degrees Celsius. I'll switch off the heat for now and transfer the milk to the pan in which I plan to set the yogurt. The milk is cooling in this bowl and I'll bring this down to a temperature of around 40 to 45 degrees Celsius or 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. But how do I know that the milk has reached that temperature? That is when the count five rule comes in. I'll insert a finger in the milk and count till 5. If the milk is too hot and I need to pull out the finger before the count of 5 means I'll have to wait further for a few minutes before it comes to the appropriate temperature. And if on inserting the finger I can go beyond the count of 5 it means that the milk has cooled more than what is required. So I'll need to heat that milk again. Maybe a few more degrees. So at that moment, I'll add the culture. Now what is the starter culture? This starter culture is nothing but a yogurt from a previously made batch. But if you're doing it for the first time, you don't have any previously made batch of yogurt. You could use the culture from a store-bought yogurt. We just need that good bacteria. And once we have put in the culture, we are going to put this at a warm place and the bacteria get, get that right temperature to multiply and the proteins will coagulate to form yogurt. So let's see if it's done. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's perfect. I can put in the culture right now. The culture is at room temperature and I beat it lightly with a spoon so that there are no lumps. I'll stir in three teaspoons of yogurt in this milk, one teaspoon for each cup of milk and give this a good mix. I'll transfer this to an insulated box. This box now goes in the oven. The oven is not heated, it's just that it's warmer than the rest of the house. Now it will take around five to six hours in the oven and then I will take it out and transfer the bowl to the fridge. This will be a very sweet yogurt. If you want a little tart or sour yogurt, you can let it stay in the box in the oven for almost 8 to 10 hours. So now, here I have a yogurt that I made yesterday. I'll show it to you how this one would look once it is set. This is the yogurt that I made yesterday and put in the refrigerator. It's very thick and creamy since I made this out of whole milk. Very little whey is there. Very thick yogurt. Now I'm going to make strained yogurt out of this. To make strained yogurt, I need muslin cloth or cheesecloth. Then I need a strainer and I need a bowl. A bowl big enough so that when the strainer is put on the bowl, it does not touch at the bottom. To make strained yogurt, 
I have taken a piece of cheesecloth and doubled it. I'll put this on top of the strainer and set the strainer on the bowl. I'll transfer all the yogurt on this cheesecloth. The whey will get separated and go down into the bowl and thick yogurt will stay on the cheesecloth. The whey has already started separating. If you plan to make Greek yogurt, allow this on the strainer for at least 8 to 10 hours or say overnight on the kitchen shelf and start with sour yogurt. If you want sweet yogurt, allow the yogurt to strain for 2 to 3 hours and put this whole setup in the refrigerator. Here I have yogurt that I strained 3 hours ago. I have thick yogurt on top of the cheesecloth. All the whey has collected in this bowl. This whey is very healthy. One could drink this or use it to knead doughs for different breads. I have transferred the strained yogurt and I have got one cup of strained yogurt from three cups of plain yogurt. Thick, creamy, strained yogurt. So guys, this is how I make yogurt at home. Hope this video was useful for you. If you liked the video, do give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel, Poonam's Kitchen. See you again very soon with a new recipe, with a new idea. Till then, bye.